Alright guys, I'm here tonight as I promised with my WrestleMania 32 review. Um, overall this show, a lot of people shit on just because of the main event. Um, I thought the main event sucked. And, and not just because Roman won, okay? I just thought the match sucked in general. Like, when I rate matches, let's just say it's... Hypothetically, let's just say Roman Reigns faced The Undertaker. Okay, I'm not a big Roman Reigns guy. Undertaker is my hero. Let's just say it's truly like a five-star match. But Roman won. I'm not going to rate it four stars or four and a half just because Roman won. I'm going to rate the match as is. So... I just thought the match sucked. I'm not going to shit on main event just because he's the winner. As far as as a whole, WrestleMania, it was uh, it was good. Um, it was enjoyable. Very long show, but um, it, it, it it entertained me, to say the least. Um, kicked off with Kalisto and Ryback. Um... It, not a bad match. Not a bad match. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Kuiso picked up the win, as expected. And... Yeah, that's that. Uh, 10 Diva Tag. Team Total Divas versus Team Bad and Blonde. Um, whatever. This is Bree's retirement match, or possible retirement match, or... I don't even fucking know. But, um, I think it, this actually will be a retirement match. Uh, it is what it is. Told you it was one. Ladder match for your Continental Championship. Uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Miz, Ziggler, Sin Cara, Ryder, Stardust. Fun match, as expected. You put all of them in a friggin' crazy-ass ladder match. And, of course, you're going to have a good time. Uh, Zack Ryder won shockingly. Now, my stance on that is, or was, you know, I'm a huge Kevin Owens fan. I've been a fan of his for a while. Um, you know, obviously I wanted him to win. But, you know, I don't mind Zack Ryder winning because I never had a problem with Zack Ryder. I'm happy for him. He worked his ass off for it. Kind of deserves it. I'm not happy about Miz winning it the next night, but that's something completely different. We're on WrestleMania. So overall, it was a very fun match. Cool spots. Um, really like the spot where Sin Cara was being pushed off the ladder and he jumped off the top rope. That was nice. Oh, forgot the Usos and the Dudleys. And nothing special, unfortunately. Uh, Usos won. AJ Styles versus Jericho. There's mixed reviews on this match. Some say it's great. Some say it's not. Some did that. I thought it was awesome. Um, definitely their best match so far. All their other ones were good, but this one is my favorite. Very, very good one. Very, very good match. Uh, Jericho picked up the win, which I was surprised with. Um... You know, it's alright, because AJ Styles still got over, in a way, in the match, and also, he's facing Roman Reigns for the title, so, I'm fine. Uh, New Day versus League of Nations, whatever. Um, it, it, was, it was a good match, it was better than I thought it was going to be, but, you know, it was a handicap match, it wasn't that long, nothing really significant, but after the match is when... Um, shit got real with Steve Austin, Mick Foley, and Shawn Michaels all came out. HVK even came out in his gear. It was pretty sweet. Um, beat the crap out of the League of Nations and then beat up Xavier Woods, which was, you know, kind of funny. Uh, Steve Austin drank like a six beers. HVK had a few beers. Mick Foley had a few beers. They had a beer bash. It, it was a good time. Looks like I wish I could have been in that ring. Um, 
Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose Street Fight. I was expecting a little more, but it was still very, very fun, like I expected. Dean Ambrose looked barbed wire. Lesnar beat the crap out of Ambrose. Ambrose looked very good in this match. Showed zero fear for Lesnar. And a lot of fun. Um, let me think. What was... Oh, yeah, there's so much power with the Ambrose and the thumbs up. That was funny. But, yeah, Ambrose looked strong like, ex like I expected him to. Lesnar won. Um, overall, it worked out great, great for the both. Even though one will lose and one will win, it was good for the both. So, Ambrose versus Lesnar. Thumbs up for that. Uh, Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship. Very, very good. Um, very, very good. Very good. One of the best matches of the night, for sure. Um, Charlotte won, which shocked the hell out of me, especially the fact that Sasha came out to Snoop Dogg, Confetti, and wearing Eddie Guerrero gear. Um, that stunned the hell out of me that she lost. Overall, very, very good. Awesome. Triple threat. Um, Undertaker versus Shane McMahon, Hell in a Cell. This is very, 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 very good, as expected. Um, I was expecting it to go at a faster pace, but it was at a slower pace, which didn't ruin anything for me. The match was just as good, faster, slow pace. It added more emotion to it. It built up a lot of, like, Tension towards, you know, the big spots like when Undertaker launched himself and Shane through the announce table. And then Shane jumping off the cell. And all the crazy physical spots. It, it was great. Um, Undertaker won. Which, while I was watching the match, I was like... There were, like, I was like, yeah... Taker seems like he's gonna win, which you know I'm I'm perfectly fine with either of them winning. Plus, Shane McMahon got to run roll the next night anyway, so we are we're all winners. Um, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, it was all right. Um, definitely it wasn't as exciting as the first one, or even the second one, but it, it was it wasn't bad. Very happy that Baron Corbin won. Because they took an NXT guy. They, they made this Battle Royal prestig prestigious. Because they had an NXT guy win. I'm not saying have an NXT guy win every single year. But um, they've had three of these Andre Battle Royals now. First one they did great with. Having Cesaro win. It was completely out of left field, and they made him look like a beast. Last year's, eh, it could have been better, but it was still all right. This year's, um, as far as the winner goes, um, they did a good job. Great way to have Baron Corbin start on the main roster, having him win a battle royal, big battle royal like this. Awesome, awesome way to book him. Then The Rock came out and announced the 101,000 whatever attendance record. Yippee. But no, seriously, that is pretty cool that they broke the record. Then The Wyatts came out. Uh, I'm so... I feel so sorry for all of them. With the booking. Then The Rock rips his clothes off. Um, you know, badass... Slash hilarious fashion because I mean the Rock already came out to the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders playing with a fi playing with a flamethrower lighting his own name on fire like a bunch of wacky shit he's acting like he was doing drugs and then um, you know he has the six second match with Eric Rowan um, you know it was entertaining to say the least and then uh, John Cena came out which actually I didn't boo him. For a change. And 
you know, I bet a lot of people kind of, I didn't mark out, like, bananas when he came out, but, like, you know, it was cool. Bet you a lot of people went ape shit for it, which there's nothing wrong with that, because that was actually a cool moment. Um... And, you know, so technically now The Rock didn't have his last match at Mania 29. Now that answers the question, will Rock ever wrestle again? He did. <laughs> technically, he did. And the main event, Triple H and Roman Reigns for the title. Triple H's answer in... It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad entrance. I, I, it was okay. I like a lot of his other entrances better than that, but it wasn't bad. Um, Roman Reigns' entrance was way overdone. Him punching the ground and the fireworks shooting up around him, fine. But shooting fireworks outside of the stadium, when the, the match hasn't even started. And this isn't like a legend, it's just an outcome. That's kind of overkill. And the match sucked, the fans crapped all over it, Reigns won. Um, seems like Reigns is turning heel, actually. The things that he's been saying on Raw the past few, uh, Raw and what he said, um, SmackDown. But overall, crap match, unfortunately. Should have been a good match, like, but it wasn't. I don't know if it was because of the fans, how they were dead because of all the other stuff, or... That I was tired because of how long the show was, or just that they don't have chemistry, or whatever. It, it was pretty bad. Um, it's not the worst main event of all time, like people like to say it is. It didn't make WrestleMania 32 the worst of all time. It didn't make the show bad, blah, blah, blah. Those people are just whiny brats. Um, but this was the worst Mania main event in a while. To say the least. But overall, Mania was fun. Um, you know, it just sucks Mania season's over. And, you know, gotta get ready for WrestleMania 33 in Orlando, Florida. 